I was with one of my friends in Zionicus that said we were doing a review for Transformers Cyberverse, uh, World's Clyde Fangry. Uh, from the World's Clyde set, this is one of the two figures I was really wanting to get. Uh, of course, the Bumblebee and him. This. Despite the fact that a lot of people were very disappointed in this figure due to the hip joints being a bit loose. But they're not as bad as I thought. I personally think this figure holds up very well. Uh, if I remember correctly, Twin Inferno had the same problem and so did... Uh, Repugnus and Grotusk, who all share the same, well, they all share the same body type. I'll probably do comparison shots of him and Twinferno. My Instagram channel, be sure, uh, Instagram page, Ionicus Toy Review, so make sure you head over there and check that out. Uh... We didn't get him in Titan's Return. Oh, sort of. We got a little Titan Master version. Though I'm not sure if they called him Fangry. Excuse me. But, uh, we'll take a look at him also in just a minute. So let's uh, go ahead and get on to it. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. So, we got Fangra here, and he does not look bad. He looks really good. And the, the pink or mauve, the gray on the chest, black on the stomach. I said he put the stats. Like the vintage headmasters they used to do. Although I think I would have preferred it. Here. No, that's. Anyhow. But let's see what they're going with. Uh, the head, of course, is a Titan Master that can come off. We'll look at that in one second. Arms rotate 360. If you just move the wings to the back. T-pose. Rotate at the forearm. Bend at the elbow. No wrist articulation, lift the front skirt up, you can see there's no waist articulation, but you can bring the legs all the way up like that, and back, I can do the side kick, mushroom peg in the upper leg, bend of the knee, and not much for uh, the feet, you can just go 360 around like that, and they swivel. I mean, there's this, but that's just merely the transformation, it has nothing to do with the actual feet. And of course, the wings can go back and forth. A fangry here is heavily remolded from time to turn. To Inferno, which I will, like I mentioned before, I'll put uh, comparison photos of the two on the Instagram channel, Anarchist Toy Reviews. I'm not repeating myself, that's fine. Uh, the head, I guess I can come off. 
You see, it's got the green on the visor, on the face, black on the rest of the head. And you can see, oh, to the head round. How's that all focused? The head sculpt on the fuzzy there. I did add a Decepticon symbol, a cover over the screw in the middle of the chest. Thank you to Toy Hacks. Definitely check them out. For all your upgrade sticker sheets and weapons and backdrops and all that good stuff. Arms can go up, of course. You can sit like that, bend the knee. Just like most Titan Masters, I will show more comparison photos of him and the Titans to turn Fangry on the Instagram channel. I'm not going to go through all that again, but they'll be on there. Uh, for his transformation, I best to uh, have him sitting like that. And let open his chest up like that. The, excuse my uh, Bluetooth just went off for some weird reason. It goes right in there. And that closes up. And as like I said, I don't know why the Bluetooth went off. But it's all right. Just come back here, grab hold of the wolf head, and just rock that all the way up here, and just peg that in. Fold the fist down here, rotate the arms, fold the wolf hands over. Move the tail pieces. Bring those up. And bring them over. together that will and tail upward a bit you'll be able to peg them in so the peg will slot in right there and that'll hold all that into place hopefully tail does not want to go in but there he is. Oops. There's his winged wolf mode. And it's not bad. They did a decent job with what they could. He doesn't really want to stand up all that great. There we go. That's the best that I can get it. Unfortunately, he didn't come with any other accessories. It would have been nice to have had them give him a gun. But, it is what it is. I'll uh, come right back after I 
switching back to robot mode and so I'll see you in just a minute. So I got him back in robot mode and I really don't see what the big problem is. A lot of people not liking this figure. And people are complaining a lot about his legs being really loose. Mine aren't. I don't know. But definitely like him. Definitely give him a eight. They could have given him the better wings. I feel that they're not the right size for this figure. Um. The head sculpt as well looks very accurate. It's still kind of boring to me, I think. But the actual Titans Return one is the same head sculpt, same color, and all that. This here's the Titans Return one. See, there's a not really much of a difference. See you and you and tell. But that being said, not too impressed with the wings. It could have been a little bit bigger for the size of the figure. Had sculpt. Well, kind of boring looking. It's fine by me, I guess. Uh, my biggest problem was no accessories, no weapons. That is what it is. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Down below, like, share, subscribe, watch the welcome notifications. Uh, I will try to put the review for this version of Angry in the description down below. I gotta figure out where he was at. Uh, you should definitely be sure to check out the Instagram channel for more photos and comparison shots of him and other figures and until next time you remember to keep hitting those toy aisles and i'll see you guys next time later